Hello, beautiful community. I love you and I am so grateful to be back and doing another video for you. Today is Sunday and I have a message from the Galactic Federation of Light. By the way, I am wearing sunglasses because I had eye surgery on Monday and my eyes are still healing. Um, and so they're bruised, thus the sunglasses inside. So I wanna share with you what the Galactic Federation of Light shared with me this morning. What I have been saying in the last couple of weeks, actually the last couple of months, is that there is a massive shift in consciousness, right? Ascension is moving from a lower frequency into a higher frequency. And so from a larger perspective, that's actually what's going on right now. And like I said in earlier videos, we're going to continue to see these darker consciousnesses peak up into our field so that we can see it in order to integrate it into the light, right? It's gonna to continue to happen. But from the much larger perspective, it is dark integrated into light or lower frequencies shifting into higher frequencies, okay? This is ascension and this is why we're on the earth plane. This is what we're here to do. And we're on the ground floor, we're ready to do this and we are doing it, we're practicing in every now moment with as much compassion and love for ourselves, navigating how to do this. We have never done this before. This is brand new for us. And we are standing in a field of consciousness, a dense third dimensional field of consciousness that holds duality. We cannot escape duality. We can be aware of duality. We can observe duality, but we can't pretend that duality doesn't exist, which is there's a right and a wrong for humans. There is a good and a bad. There is a this feels good, this feels not so good. This is the right way, this is the wrong way. That's part of the human experience in the third dimension. It's part of in the human collective. So there is rape, murder, torture, traumas, abuses, racism, inequalities, all of these things that are lower consciousness experiences, behaviors, thoughts, beliefs that are in the human collective. There is also love, unity, expansion, joy, freedom, peace, equality that is also a part of this consciousness. And the more we shift into the higher states, the more we will be feeling these higher consciousnesses, expansion, unity, unconditional love, compassion, empathy, right? The things that we are practicing right now. The challenging piece is that we are standing in duality. We're standing in polarities. We're standing in it. We can't pretend we're not. And so we have to honor the right, wrong, good, bad, my truth, your truth. We have to see it and honor it. We have to be able to see that somebody else is not gonna have the same truth as me. That's part of this consciousness that not everybody is going to navigate it the way I'm navigating it. Not everyone is going to have the same behaviors that I have, the same responses that I have, the same reactions that I have. It's impossible. This is part of the third dimensional consciousness that we are standing in. So first, we have to acknowledge this. We have to honor this. We can't force every human to respond, react, and be the way we are. Why? Because we live in a, we are standing in a third dimensional consciousness that allows for duality and a large spectrum of experiences. And my right may not be your right. My truth may not be your truth. But regardless of duality, Regardless of polarity, we are shifting the dark into the light. And so here is what the Galactic Federation of Light showed me today. They said the human collective, which is all humans on the earth plane, brought together in one collective field of consciousness, imagine it like a piece of concrete. And there are all these cracks in the concrete. And the cracks are duality. The cracks are the injustices, the abuses, the traumas, the racism, the, uh, the control, the greed, all of these 
lower consciousnesses that have created a divide in the human collective that when you look at it, you say, wow, there is a right and a wrong in that crack. There is a good and a bad in that crack. And what we are here to do when we talk about shifting consciousness and ascension is we are here to look at the cracks, see the dark, see the light, and integrate it or heal it. And the only way we do that is by actually seeing and shining light into the cracks. So there are many cracks that we have ignored. We've pretended aren't there because it's so painful. We've walked over, we stepped over, and there are many humans that will continue to ignore the cracks. Our job is not to try and force the humans to look at the crack. Our job is to shift the crack as soon as we see the crack. Do you understand? The, collect, the Galactic Federation of Light said, listen, there is a massive merging of dark and light right now, no matter what, which means there is a shifting, there's an integration happening of darker consciousnesses or lower consciousnesses integrating into higher consciousnesses. What happens is the, as the human is experiencing it is we are navigating it through our own dualistic lens saying that this is the right way to do it and this is the wrong way. The humans that are not doing it the way we are doing it aren't doing it correctly. They're not healing this massive wound. They're not shifting this massive wound. They're not aware of it. They're not doing it correctly, right? And we want to be aware of this because when we do that, we are holding ourselves in that duality within the crack. So we're not really healing the crack when we are telling people how to be, when we are holding massive amounts of duality, when we are saying you are not allowed to have your right or your wrong. Your right and wrong must be my right and my wrong. We are trying to learn how to step into these higher states of consciousness while we stand in the midst of these cracks, of these inequalities, as in these traumas, in these massive, massive injustices, the greed, the chaos, the fear, all of it, right? There's cracks after cracks after cracks that we have to integrate so that we can become one whole unified field of consciousness, one unified human collective field with unconditional love, equality, oneness, compassion, empathy. We are moving towards that but it takes many, many, many tiny baby steps and a massive amount of cracks to heal in order to do this. Why? Because we are standing in such a dense third dimensional consciousness that there are so many dualistic cracks that tell us this is right, this is wrong, murder is right, murder is wrong, murder is happening, abuse is happening, trauma is happening. And when you look at it, you get to have your truth around it, right? You get to have your way of responding and reacting, which is all okay. But what the Galactic Federation of Light wants me to remind you is that this is clearing, this is healing. We are shifting. Can we shift from an open heart? Can we shift from the awareness that I'm in duality, that I'm going to have my right or wrong, that I'm going to have my truths, but can I observe it? Because the more you observe your truths, the more you observe I'm standing in my truth and I can't hold your truth, but at least I can observe it. The more we're able to do this, the faster these cracks heal and integrate. The more we argue and fight and resist and force other humans into your view, the more you are staying inside that crack, right? The more you're holding that crack as the reality. The key here is to see the crack as duality, to see the crack as the injustice, to see how horrific and awful to feel it all, and then to say, oh, I'm shifting this. We're shifting this. We're healing this. And every single human gets to feel it, experience it, integrate it, heal it, 
respond to it however they need. It's not going to stop the healing of it. If 17,000 people protest and 16,000 people don't protest, it's still going to heal. If 500,000 people stand up and scream and 30,000 people just meditate, it's still going to heal. What we want to be aware of, they're saying, is, is diving into the duality of it and saying, you're wrong and I'm right in this. You should be doing it this way. You should be doing it that way, right? Because then you're in the midst of that crack and you're holding the crack as if it is still there. You understand? You're holding it as if it's still alive and breathing and worthy of being experienced. So with racism, right, that we are healing and that we will continue to heal. If you stand in the crack of racism and say, you need to be seeing it my way, you need to be looking at it my way, you need to be responding from it in my way, you're holding the duality of racism. It's okay. It's still going to shift, right? Because the light's shining on it, but you're holding this massive duality that exists inside of racism instead of seeing it for the dualistic way that it is and for the injustice that it is and saying, wow, everybody's going to respond differently. We are all shifting it the best way that we can. Can I lighten up? Can I let my hands go in terms of trying to control the way everybody responds to this and trust that just by me speaking my voice, just by me honoring how I need to be in this without trying to tell others how to be, the shift is going to happen faster. As we continue to see these cracks open up more and more and more, we're going to learn how to shift them faster. They're going to start to shift faster, i.e. we're going to be shifting the collective faster. But we're learning. So in the beginning, we're going to stand in the cracks and we're going to hold massive duality. This is absolutely not okay. You cannot do these things. This is wrong. This is right. This is wrong. This is right. This is my truth. Why are you not seeing it my way? Why are you not doing it my way? Right? And that's okay. But there will come a time where we will jump into the crack. We will see the crack. We will see the density. We'll see the duality. And we will be able to step outside as the observer and let everyone have their experience of it, knowing that it's shifting. It's not a matter of is this shifting or isn't. It's all shifting. How am I going to be while it shifts? Am I going to stand in duality and polarity and really grip it hard? Okay. Or am I going to relax into it, see it as dense consciousness that is finally being acknowledged and honored and shift, allowing myself to feel everything, speaking my truth, responding and reacting the way I need to, but letting it be my sovereignty without trying to force or push it onto anybody else. The only way we come into a unified, equal state of being, equality, is to let everyone be who they are in their sovereign field, whether we agree with it or not, as we continue to shift the dense, dark cracks in the collective cement. This is very challenging. It's mind blowing because we stand in third dimensional consciousness. We're standing in a third dimensional field. We can't escape duality, which means it's impossible almost impossible for you not to have a right wrong for you not to say, I do not agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. Right? So when you're shifting a, a, a crack such as racism or injustices or abuses or anything else, right? When you are standing in it, the light is shining and you are shifting it. Your first initial reaction is going to be anger and rage and, and standing up for it and trying to get all these people to see it your way. But what we want to start to practice is, wait, there it is. Here's my reaction. This is density shifting into conscious, into light. I get to have all my human emotions. I'm not spiritually bypassing any of it because I am honoring it, loving it, seeing it, 
And in fact, be, I'm doing the opposite of bypassing. I'm stepping into it and I'm allowing all humans to have their experience of it. When we start allowing the humans to just have their experience, allowing myself to have my experience, we are all honoring the crack. We're all shifting the crack. And the more we let go and just say, go ahead and have it your way, do it your way. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to experience it my way. The faster it shifts. We're not grabbing it. We're not standing in the crack saying, no, this is the only way. No, this is the only way, right? Because what you're doing is you're holding duality so deep, so intensely that it's really challenging for the collective to shift the density, which is duality, right? The density needs to shift. The density is shifting and it shifts more naturally or quicker when we give ourselves permission to feel it all and when we give every other human permission to feel it the way they need to feel it. Trust me when I tell you this. As long as that crack is being seen, it's shifting no matter what any other human does. And there are hundreds of thousands of humans that aren't going to acknowledge that, that, those cracks right away. Hundreds of thousands of humans that are going to say, I don't think there's a problem with racism. I don't think these people are being mistreated, blah, 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 right? They're not the ones shifting this. There will come a time where they may start shifting it with us, but it doesn't matter. Let them have their experience. They're not that powerful. We are much more powerful, meaning we are much brighter, lighter beings shifting consciousness through awareness. They're higher dimensional beings as well, but they're shrouded in duality. They're shrouded in polarity. That's okay. That's their human experience. There is nothing wrong with any human's journey. There's nothing wrong with any human's response and reaction now. That's very challenging to accept because we're standing in duality and it is okay to not accept it. It's okay. But we are practicing how to be and stand in 5D consciousness while we are standing in 3D consciousness, while we are watching massively dense cracks heal. And these cracks are intense and we're going to feel a lot and we're going to want to fight and we're going to want to stand up and all of that is okay. But the message here is it's shifting regardless. Sit with that for a second. This consciousness is shifting just by the simple fact that we are now shining light again on this crack that has been massive and in front of our faces for hundreds of years. I'm speaking of racism, right? There's going to be other cracks. And by the way, there are hundreds and hundreds of cracks out there. And we're going to start to shine the light on all of these cracks in order to bring the human collective into one unified field. And this is going to take a lot of time. And so we are practicing. This is practice, you guys, not beating each other up, not beating other humans up. And if other humans want to beat us up for doing it a certain way, want to beat you up for doing it a certain way, let go. Let them just be. We are holding higher states of consciousness. Many hundreds of thousands of humans that are looking at this crack, that are standing up, that are protesting, they're holding higher states of consciousness. They're standing up, they're shifting. The collective, they're bringing it into a healed, unified state. And they're doing it the way they need to. You're doing it the way you need to. Can we do this? And can we continue to do this with an open heart? Without forcing somebody else to jump onto your path and do it your way. And if there are humans that are asking you to do it your way, can you open up and love them for that? They're being human. They're being third dimensional. It's okay. We're still standing in duality. We're still standing in polarity. You don't just jump out of duality and polarity. You heal it. You heal it. You heal the injustices by integrating that injustice, that dark into the light. And we all are doing it our own way to the best of our ability, including those that can't even see it. 
the massive, large human collective is shifting. This is massive. And these cracks are massive. And the Galactic Federation of Light wants to remind you that it is all shifting and integrating into higher states of consciousness. That is what is happening right now out there, out in your external reality. It's shifting. You're in duality, so there's a right or a wrong way of doing that. Can you observe your duality? Can you observe when you're saying there is a right and a wrong way? You don't make it wrong that you're having duality, that you're in duality. But can you watch yourself in it? Can you observe yourself in it? Can you remind yourself, wait a second, consciousness is shifting. We are moving into a more unified field. We are learning more unconditional love. We are creating equality. We are creating equality. And the only way you create equality is by standing in the cracks that created injustices, that created inequality. You got to see the inequality in order to merge it back into equality. There's no other way around it. These are very intense times. We are warriors. We are soldiers. All of us that are looking at this, all of the humans that have put themselves in harm's way in order to shine the light on the crack all of those that are protesting, all of those that have died, all of the people that are participating in this right now, in this crack, they are all warriors of light, shifting density into light. And our job, our role is to practice this with the least amount of judgment and attachment on other humans. There is no right way of doing this. There is no wrong way of doing this. If you feel into the energy of people telling you how to do it, it's restrictive. There is a lot of energy around this specific crack, racism. It is deep. It is clearing. It is healing. And we all get to experience it the way we need to experience it. And a month from now, I will be talking about another crack. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. In a month from now, there will be another crack, another injustice, another abuse, another trauma, another consciousness that we will be speaking about, that we will have shined light on, right? As we stay, still continue to shine the light on this crack. And then another crack. We are warriors of light. We are shifting consciousness. We want to allow every human to go through this the way they need to go through this. We want to practice as much compassion and love for everyone, whoever you can do that for, right? There will be groups of humans that you're like, I can't, I cannot accept love, have compassion, empathy. I can't. That's okay. Who can you have compassion for? Who can you have empathy for? Can you stretch yourself? Can you stretch empathy? Meaning I'm going to put myself in their shoes and feel what it feels like to be them. Can you stretch compassion? Meaning I don't agree with that person. I don't believe what they believe, but can I have compassion for them? Can you love can I love the humans that are navigating this the best that they can? Can I love myself who's navigating this the best I can? This is a large concrete slab, the human collective, with massive amounts of cracks in it that we are healing and bringing together in order to become unified, in order to become equal, so that all injustices, all abuses, all traumas, all the dark consciousness in the third dimension begins, continues, and eventually shifts entirely into light, into 5D consciousness. And this isn't spiritual bypassing. This is just physics. This is just ascension. This is just what's happening. 
Spiritual bypassing is pretending that nothing's going on, the pretending that there is no dark, pretending that there are no cracks, right? Turning away and saying, nope, not gonna deal, not gonna see it, not gonna deal with it. Nope, right? Nope, not happening, not happening, not happening, right? We all are navigating this however we need to navigate this, and it's intense, and we don't have to do it the way anybody else is doing it. We don't, because that is staying in duality. If you force people to do it the way you're doing it, you're holding duality so tightly that you are staying in that denser consciousness. And again, that's not easy either. So this is all practice. This is all practice. I've said this so many times. The Galactic Federation of Light has so much, said this so many times. We are practicing how to be in the higher states while we clear and integrate dense, dark consciousness. And we're going to feel, we're going to respond, we're going to react, but can we observe? Can we observe? It's not a matter of are we, we are. Can we, we are. It is. We're shifting the collective. And we will continue to. So how do you want to shift it? What's your truth? What's your voice? Do it. What's your sovereignty? What is your sovereign resonance saying? I want to stand up. I want to draw. I want to sing. I want to dance. I want to cry. I want to run away in a cave. I want to go to a mountain somewhere. I want to speak to my children. I want to watch Netflix. I want to feel as much of that pain and sadness as I can. What does your sovereign field want and need in terms of navigating this? That's clearing and healing and integrating the dark. The way we shift is we see the crack. We shine the light on the crack. The light has shined on that crack. The crack is visible. Everything else is secondary. How you respond, how you react, how you are in it is secondary. The shift happens when we see the crack, when we acknowledge the crack, when we recognize the crack. So how do you want to navigate it? Shifting is actually much easier than, what, than how the human observes it because we're in a third dimensional consciousness. We, deserve, we observe it in the duality, in the polarity. And if you've been living in that crack, right, and you need to respond however the freak you need to respond, you do it. Let us navigate this with as much of an open heart as possible. There is no right or wrong way to shift consciousness. There's no right or wrong. The only way is the light shining on the crack because that will absorb the dark and pull the dark into the light. It will heal and unify. So observe your nows. Observe if you're trying to tell somebody how to do it your way. Observe if somebody else is telling you how to do it their way. Let it all just be as much as you possibly can. Feel everything. More compassion, more empathy, more love for as many humans as you possibly can have that for. And when you find yourself unable to have compassion, love, or empathy for a human, notice that. Wow, that's my stretch. I can't with that one. Okay. At least you're acknowledging, you're observing, you're seeing that. There will be a time where you'll be able to. It's not your fault. You're standing in third dimensional consciousness. I love you. We've never done this before in the way that we're doing it. This is a physical shift in consciousness. The cracks are being shown to us. 
we're standing in them, we're looking at them, and we are navigating them the best that we can. We are shifting density to light, dark to light, density into light. 3D to 5D, over and over and over. And this is what it looks like. We are creating equality. We are creating unity. And we have to get dirty. We have to get in there. We've got to feel it all. We got to scream. We got to rage. We got to have anger. We got to have sadness. We got to have whatever we have. Maybe you go numb for a little bit. Maybe you have your really strong opinions, whatever it is. It's all okay. We're navigating this. Thank God that we are finally courageously shifting the density into light. Because when we will eventually find ourselves standing in a 5D consciousness as one collective unified field, we will say, holy shit, look what we shifted. Because the crazy thing about ascension, which I have said many times, is you don't escape it. You don't pull yourself out of it. We have to navigate ourselves through it. We have to pull the really dark, deep, really heavy, dense consciousness, the suffering, the murders, the traumas, the inequalities, the racism. We have to pull all of that out into the light. Holy shit. And then we got to honor it all, love it all, let everyone navigate it the best that they can and pull it into the light bring it into a unified field just by acknowledging, honoring, seeing it, and loving it. I love you. I hope this message helps in some small way right now. I have to let you know that the Galactic Federation of Light has no qualms about what's going on. They're not worried. They're not concerned. They are watching the collective shift. They're like, oh yeah, this is how it's happening. Yep, this is what's going to continue. Yep, this is, what's, this is how it goes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for dropping into the body. Thank you for courageously taking one step at a time. Thank you for having all of your human emotions. Thank you for standing in duality. Thank you for just being the human that you are. Thank you for looking it right in the face, looking at all the different cracks, but please remember it is shifting no matter what you think, no matter what you feel, this is what it looks like to shift consciousness. This is what it looks like. This is what it feels like to move 3D to 5D. You're in it right now. This is when the rubber hits the road. It's not roses and rainbows and all of that. It's this. It's all of this. And so have compassion for yourself. Have love for yourself. Honor yourself and honor as many other humans as you can. Love them. Have compassion for them. Have empathy for them. We're all doing the best we can. I love you.